My back is like the best in the game for me. For me, I'm not competing with anybody. Not until on stage. Bringing it back, bringing it back because I, I just, honestly, I just feel like it. I, I, I've been missing a part of me and I feel like it's, it's all in my sayings. If you eat right, you feel right. It's meal time, good morning. Just, just the whole shebang, we gotta bring it back. We gotta bring it back. Give it a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up if you miss it. Seven days out and I woke up this morning and I was like I was like yo we gotta get it we gotta get it no matter no matter what the circumstances are we gotta get it these crisps well I just had one so oh, go buy some trust me on that go buy some it's called made good then I look crispy square and then there's a chocolate chip crispy I can't even say chocolate chip, chocolate chip, crispy a square. Pre-workout, carbs straight to the, to the dome. Try it. So this morning I went to go train. I generally wake up around like 6 a.m., 6.30. Uh, I train around that time as well. And my lift was killer. I'm telling you my lift was next level. Every single bit of my upper body was just destroyed, destroyed. And here's the thing. Going into this workout, I, I was pretty damn tired. I, I didn't know how tired I was or how exhausted I was, but I just realized that prep is kicking my ass. I've always talked about, oh, prep isn't too, isn't too hard. Oh, bodybuilders have it easy. Yo, it, it, it is difficult. I'm not gonna lie, it's challenging. It's not as challenging as a lot of people say it is, but with this workout, I was definitely exhausted. <laughs> This workout, uh, one of the supersets I'm gonna be hitting is a, well, I'm gonna be hitting like my lower traps, also my lats, of course. Anything around my scap, pretty much my posterior chain here with some heavy 85s. And then I'm gonna, instead of hitting these 20s right after, I'm gonna go over there to the cable machine. You're gonna see this. And I'm gonna go through and time under tension, controlled, really targeting that chest. I need to grow my chest, I need to. And I'm gonna finish off with some posterior raises here that really, again, I'm working my entire posterior chain. Then I'll go into more shoulder work. So these supersets are like, I've trained this way with these type of supersets for, I don't know, 12 years. And then for the rest of the workout, I just murdered it. And then the last, I, I believe the, the last exercise when I was doing my, uh, my close grip incline bench, I literally felt like my arms were gonna fall off. Now, not to mention my overhead press on that Smith machine. I have not done that literally like ever, ever. I'm, I'm, I like body weight training. That's, that's my shit. I love body weight training, but I wanted to give it a go. I gave it a try and I'm going to tell you this right now, that full workout, if you try it, you try all those supersets and everything, you are going to be feeling it. is to really build up my upper chest, to build my shoulders, to really develop them, make them like real nice and round. I mean, I'm pretty good on my biceps. Boom, as you can see, pretty good on my biceps. My core is pretty damn good. My back is like the best in the game for me. For me, I'm not competing with anybody, not until on stage. So I'm done. Um, 
I'm gonna go do my cardio, 10 minutes, as fast as I can. My goal is 20 on the stair stepper. I'm doing it for all the dingleberries that were left at C. <laughs> all the dingleberries. All the dingles, <laughs> all the dingles. 97 days out, and I'm, I'm in the best position that I could ever imagine. And then I have my post-workout meal. Today is a flippity floppity do da day type of day, mother. I'm gonna have uh, obviously icon meals right now. <laughs> obviously, obvious. I don't know why the fuck I just said that. Um, but I am definitely gonna have some carrots, dude. If you have never had some carrots, you have to say it that way if you're gonna eat them. But before I have my carrots, I'm gonna have yeah, I'm gonna have bison. I'm gonna have potatoes and broccolini weenie. I cannot stand broccoli right now anymore. I'm like over it. Also, I had all of these, if you see these right here, all these sauces, this is, uh, which one's my favorite? I think this one's my favorite right here. They all give me the shits. Look at that, so damn good. Oh, it's just like fulfilling, you know? So today was a big day, especially with the labels for creating nutrition. Creating nutrition is something that I'm coming out with very, very soon, and um, it, it, it's been taking a lot of work. I'm working with so many different influencers. Oh Lord, so many influencers. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I love, love, love the influencers that I work with, 100%. Like, that is probably the, the most rewarding part in all of this. And that's what I'm so excited about as I start to develop creating nutrition a little bit more. Now after all that, that, that stuff, I had six freaking calls. Six, six calls. My Mondays are literally like just just exhausting. Call after call after call. But the good news is, is that Katrina Wright, which is one of my business partners for Sculpt You, that's her business, she sat down with me and um, she told me she's getting two kittens. Oh shit. If you guys don't know, she actually lost her cat and it is a tragedy. It's, it's, it's difficult for her. But at the same time, I feel like if you, if you lose an animal to go and get an animal immediately after is not the best route. Um, you're kind of, you're scar, you're, you're feeling the pain and you're not treating it. And I really, really firmly believe that. So, I don't know. It, she's gonna gotta do what she's gotta do. That, that's as simple as that. What I'm also super excited about is my electric bike. Do you remember this? Do you remember my electric bike flying through Santa Monica, flying through California, just enjoying, enjoy, just enjoying the, the beautiful skies, going 35 miles per hour, almost smacking my face across poles and running through traffic, cops chasing me. That, that was the day, that was the day. Right now I'm in Denver, it's a little bit different. I haven't brought out the electric bike in a while. I've been working on so many businesses, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm bringing it back. I'm being exciting about it. I'm driving around, people are saying, what's up? You know, like the whole, whole feeling. So, I, I just hope it works, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know if it works, that, that, that's the damn truth. The power of the sweeper. What is that, dude? Is it all like? So it's all our, uh, it's probably, there's probably some macros in there, dude, if you're trying it, to. Honestly, man, like you're the biggest man I've ever seen on the left-hand side of the screen. <laughs> it's wide angle lens. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, in the middle, let's see. Am I still, am I still small? No, it's just this tan line. That's, that's, that's uh, the aesthetic farmer's tan line. It's pretty, yeah, dude. Tan line in the garage. It's beautiful. You have a vein right here, though. So. Ooh, ooh. Ninety-seven days. Ninety-seven days. I realized once again, ninety-seven days out. Mm, I am so excited. If you only could could live with me for a day, ask Taylor. Taylor's the videographer. Ask Taylor all about it. I I'm gung ho. Gum gum ho. Gung. Is it gung or gum? Uh, I'm super excited for it. Uh, I can't speak. I'm super excited to step on stage. Now, uh, one thing that I, I completely forgot about today was um, 
the chef that was coming over to cook. Now, he's not just like a typical chef. I actually love what he's doing. It's called Elementor Table. And uh, he's like meal prepping locally in Denver. And I was like, yo, I, li I would love some snacks. I would love some snacks. And I also have some influencers that maybe, maybe you could work with. And um, he was like, dude, I'd freaking love to come over and make a couple meals for you. And I was like, hell yeah, dude, I love food. Anyways, he came over um, and I, I was like so excited to shake his hand. I don't know why, it's just like a chef's hand is so, so valuable. So we're here with Chris from Elementor Table. What exactly are you chefing up today? So what I'm gonna do is like a chicken and zucchini skewer. So I'm gonna strip up the zucchini, wrap it around the chicken. So freaking delicious food, I, I, that's, that's honestly an understatement, delicious food, minimal ingredients, but yet the, the, when you take one food and you bring it to the other and it's zucchini and then bison, you put it together, it's just like, it's, it's delicious. Now, um, obviously after I eat, I, I have more work to do. I, I've worked nonstop, that's, that's obvious. So we, you know, I did some emails, I did some of this, I did some of that, I'm, I'm trying to get these, these manufacturers are like, Honestly, these manufacturers are like, they're driving me insane. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the, this product out within a 60 day period. And it's like, it's just a whole thing. Damn, mm, yeah, oh, 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 oh. After, after I, I need some relaxation. I need my favorite, favorite food in the entire world. So I decided to uh, try and test out my bike, my electric bike. Just say, just say what's up, man. Who are you? Hey, what's up, man? Tell the fam, <laughs> tell them. What's up, y'all? Yeah. I'm Richard, man, you know. That's why I work. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned, subscribe, and like on the video. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to go ride the uh <laughs> Not gonna lie, it feels good to be back. I got my, I got my bike, I got my people around me. This food, oh, this let me tell you about natural grocers. It, it it's like um, it's like I can't really explain it. It's like if if someone were to hand you a platter of food and it was all the best chicken wings in the entire world, the pizza, everything, but healthy. Oh, the Lord has blessed me once again. So you have one person with a super addiction one person with a regular addiction. I have a super addiction to these burritos because it's one of the only items I can have that kind of is like a cheat, but it's also very, ma like, I can count the macros, like, oh, Lord, Lord bless his food. And honestly, that's pretty much my day. That's my day. And now we're here. Now we're here. It's been fun. It's been fun, huh? A little bit of a, a new structure to the video. I like this type of shit. To be honest, I like it. I like pretty much anything and everything. Crazy Nutrition, it's launching here soon, at, probably at the end of the July, because we have a lot of different things that we're, we're putting together. Um, our greens juice, our greens powder is still testing and it's amazing. Like everyone has has like positive reviews. They're like, damn, I really like this. It's earthy, not too tasty. That's like really important for me is that taste. 
Um, and then, you know, Taylor's doing a great job. And then we, we have our support team. We, I call them the sack squad, honestly. I call them the sack squad. Um, they're doing great and, and they're really our support. Our support emails are very, very low. There's only a couple companies that kind of spike up when a, a bunch of people join, which is really cool. Um, but, but the cool thing is, this is even cooler. I've been talking to a lot of influencers, a lot of more influencers, and, and as I talked about earlier in this video, it's a big deal when you're bringing on influencers to a company and you wanna take care of them, you wanna make sure that they're doing the right things and mentorship and everything, but you know, there are a lot to handle with. It's, it's just the name of the game. I'm a lot to handle when I'm an influencer, for sure. We're all are, right? So um, that's kind of like a, a, a different approach, especially working with these new people um, and bringing them on and, and showing them the, the, the roots and how to really create create something long-term and effective and strategic. It's all about the strategies, the, the strategic approach to everything. So um, yeah, podcast, remember, Tuesday, Friday. Let me know what you think. I really am like very curious if you enjoy, if you don't enjoy, whatever. Um, 97 days, 97 days. I'm feeling great. <sighs> my training is going great, my food, everything. I'm getting enough sleep, so yeah. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Bada with the Bada Did you check out the steroid video? Did you, you did you check out the um, body weight versus bodybuilding video? I think those are really cool, valuable videos to, to check out. I just released them just recently. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Peace.